today, Rinpoche made it very clear that we must begin to accept small types of suffering so we can endure the greater types of suffering later on. It's impossible to become enlightened without enduring some kind of suffering. So we must become used to it so it does not serve as an obstacle. Nishu Gutsu I see. Jibja Kabiare. It's got to be right in here. The data Jibja Jugu. The Jugu will tell how to The Jibja Jugu. Then uh, the Sumba. Um, uh, let's see. Jibja Jugu. 419. Then a the Dugyal Dong then the Shunju Long uh that's go. Yeah we we re- we did read through engaging in the Bodhisattva Dugan. She so Chunrim I remember she Jipcha Jugu the Danjar, then Shunju Sheso, the Shunju Lung, then the Shunju Lung, um, Detsku, the the Nyawa, the Shunju Lung Ni Yure, the um, the Gyote Ta, Gyote Megil, the Dugyang, Nya, the Yomare, um, Churmrim Negom. Okay, the data. Okay, so uh, just to let everybody know where we are, 176 in the English, number th- uh, three or C, how it is not difficult to bear suffering if you gradually grow accustomed to it, starting with the small. Um, so that's uh, where we'll begin today. Uh, and it um, seems like there's some understanding that we went back and we're so we're doing that yeah ไม่ก็จะเป็นงานด้วยงานด้วยลองอีกบาดเนี่ยงานด้วยลองอืมตั้งงานด้วยลองตะเชนจิชงซงเชวะกันเนี่ยวะดิเกดะชงโกตันด
is in dependence upon virtue, and the lower realms are produced in dependence upon non-virtue. So in the teaching shared in common with beings of small capacity, uh, we see that the point is that the smallest degree of virtue gives rise to the smallest result of a human existence. A medium degree of virtue gives rise to a medium degree of result, which is demigod, and a great degree gives rise to a great degree of result, god realm. The same is true for non-virtue. I'm not sure if Rinpoche said this part or not, so if I add it, I apologize, but I'm, I don't want to spend the time asking. So, And then the lower realms are created. Uh, the greatest level of non-virtue um, creates the hell, medium degree hungry ghost, and small degree animal realm. So these degrees of virtue and non-virtue create concordant results and experiences, didn't they? That's <laughs> So we state in the um, Buddhist doctrine that there are three lower realms of cyclic existence. Um, and uh, Yishu. So the Christianity, do they state that there are things like this? Rimache is just putting a question in the air. So this is something that we need to think about how comparative religions, thinking of comparative religions. Tant so when we engage in the study of patience, we always want to look at um, what the, the benefits of patience are and then what the downfalls of not being patient are. So we always compare uh, those two things, the benefits and downfalls. Uh, so we find um, points made in Chandrakirti's Madhyamika Avatara, The Entrance to the Middle Way, where he states, Patience makes you beautiful and dear to holy beings. Through patience you are skilled in knowing right from wrong. In afterlives you will be born as human or divine, and negativity will have no hold on you. Uh, so we find that in the, th the third chapter, um, or the third, um, the third you know, I, say, I guess we'll say chapter, of the entrance to the middle way. So it, patience, the result of patience is that it's stated in text that one will be beautiful. And then it says, and dear to holy beings. So the Buddhas and so forth uh, will en enjoy the fact that you are engaging in this important practice. So it, it makes them, um, makes you very, have a connection to them. Through patience you are skilled in, in knowing right from wrong. Uh, in afterlives you will be born as human or divine. Uh, so the higher realms of cyclic existence and negativity will have no hold on you. So we see uh, in this one stanza um, the excellent benefits of engaging in patience. Okay. Less so. 
Okay. <clears throat> Page 176. How it is not difficult to bear suffering, suffering if you gradually grow accustomed to it, starting with the small. Uh, engaging in the Bodhisattva deeds by Master Shanti Deva states, There is nothing whatsoever that does not become easier through habituation. So by becoming used to small harms, you will bear great harms as well. After you have conceived the armor-like thought to accept suffering, you gradually blend it with suffering, starting with small sufferings. When you do this, you steadily increase your capacity to accept suffering. Uh, 
the compendium of training states. So now we have uh, another text by Shanti Deva showing how the more we get used to smaller types of suffering, we can gradually increase our um, uh, our ability. Our uh, we can gradually increase our ability to handle larger amounts of suffering as we proceed through our practices. So um, w when we begin, um, uh, we start becoming accustomed to or familiarizing ourselves with having patience to deal with small sufferings. And then as we become more and more familiar with this patience that deals with small sufferings, then we can increase it to make it so that it's greater and greater, so that it becomes able, that patience that's able to deal with uh, greater amounts of suffering. Um, so uh, that's the point that's made here. So we find the quote from uh, Shanti Deva's um, Compendium of Trainings uh, that states, Once you have grown used to small sufferings, you will become accustomed to the difficult and very difficult. For example, just as all living beings have the idea that suffering is happiness through the power of conditioning, so you maintain the idea of joy whenever you experience suffering be by becoming used to applying the idea of joy to these experiences. So here, this is showing how we have familiarized ourselves to seeing um, suffering as happiness. So if we've been able to familiarize ourselves with that notion, then we should be able to familiarize ourselves with the patience that deals with suffering um, at greater and greater levels as we increase our abilities. Um, uh, so th this is the, the power of conditioning. This is th through familiarization, through uh, meditation, if you will, gom. Um, so then it's there we have a quote uh, from a sutra now. Um, questions of the householder Agra Sutra states, free yourself from a mind that is like a piece of cotton. And then we find a quote from the array of stock sutra that says, daughter, in order to destroy all afflictions, you should develop a mind that is hard to defeat. Uh, so here, this is encouraging the practitioner to develop this very stable mind. And once one uh, has this desire to definitely emerge from his or her own sufferings, then this is called renunciation. But then when he or she turns their minds to other sentient beings and other sentient beings suffering and wishing that they didn't have it, then that becomes compassion. So you see the connection between one's own renunciation and the ability to have compassion. Um, so one must first establish one's own desire to emerge and then that's renunciation and turning towards others is compassion. So thus you need courage that is very firm and stable. You will not be able to accept suffering with a fragile mind. Uh, so free yourself from a mind that is like a piece of cotton. Uh, it says in the sutra here, daughter, in order to destroy all afflictions, you should develop a mind that is hard to defeat, meaning a very stable mind. Um, uh, you will not be able to accept suffering with a fragile mind. If you initially develop a significant degree of courage, even great suffering becomes helpful. It is just like the case of warriors entering a battle and using the sight of their own blood to increase their boldness. If right from the start you belittle yourself saying, I have never belittle yourself thing, I have never heard of such a thing, and even if I had heard of it, I could never do something like that. Then even a small suffering becomes a cause for you to turn back from the path. It's just like the case of cowards who see others' blood and fainting fall unconscious. Engaging in the Bodhisattva deed says, some seeing their own blood become more intrepid. Some seeing others' blood fall unconscious. Um, uh, so here it's showing how um, uh, Rinpoche, this Rinpoche uh, related it to degrees of patience somehow. So just give me one moment. It was really short, um, but I just want to miss that part. This Shunju Lung. Um, uh, that's go. I gotta find it now. Maybe this isn't a good idea. That's go. The Tama. The the Puching Jiaopa Jorwa Yu Dene. Sangi nga dandang the shunju lung the tamatama de 
Okay, so um, some seeing their own blood become more intrepid, some seeing others' blood fall unconscious. Um, so it's showing how um, people have degrees of ability to deal with certain uh, types of suffering. So it's showing how um, as one increases his or her patience, he or she will be able to deal with in more increased types of suffering. It's, uh, there's a, it'd take me too long. It says something in here like previously the, in this quote. So it's almost like some who previously, uh, I don't know, something like would fall unconscious by seeing uh, others' blood then become... Uh, um, then they become intrepid seeing their own blood. Something has to do with the um, stages of patience, how um, seeing others' blood versus seeing your own blood, um, there's, there's, two dif there's a difference there, Rinpoche is saying. So Rinpoche is saying that connects to one's ability to, in to deal with incre increasing amounts of suffering. So I'm sure it's translated great. Most times everything's encoded and you really have to try and figure out and it might just be this one or two words that prove that. Um, but So yeah, it de deals with degrees. This comes from the mind's fortitude or from its timidity. Lagunas,真的,所有的东西,都是老年的,都是老年的,都是老年的,都是老年的,都是老年的,都是老年的,都是老年的,都是老年的,都是老年的,都是老年的,都是老年的,都是老年的,都是老年的,都是老年的,都
Yanı tu can es kala jubu matre bacı can es şimbala magavatna iyi çeba mecin tadale şun yu dönge tanto lemba os odel sunyolan do odel dönge te yuguru to su dönge tanle je gures tanto lemba o jide je chula jide ole od oteba ci ci sana dine ka de bao Lambo was doing a nam dong lenbo. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, so again, the quote from Guide to Bodhisattva's Way of Life shows how there are different levels of patience, showing how one person sees his or her, someone else's blood and can faint, another's becomes very, um, Uh, brave at the sight of his or her own blood. Um, so likewise, patience then can be increased to deal with the varying types of suffering. Uh, so now we get to number three. So uh, we had three categories. The reason you must definitely accept suffering, the method or the way to acceptance, and then a detailed explanation from the viewpoint of basis. So now we've arrived at a detailed explanation from the viewpoint of basis. Uh, so uh, now there's going to be eight bases of suffering that we'll see. Um, we begin with a question. Given that one must accept the suffering that occurs, from where do these sufferings come and how does one accept them? The reply, there are eight bases for accepting suffering. One, acceptance of suffering that is based on objects. Robes, alms, bedding, seat, medicine, and necessities are objects that enhance pure conduct. Without displeasure and disappointment, you accept the suffering that arises when these are given to you and you find them to be inferior or too few or when they are given with disrespect or after a long delay. Acceptance of suffering that is based on worldly concerns. Uh, um, so, Rimache just mentioned that if you're given robes uh, and there's just not enough of them or there's holes in them or something, um, you should just, ex this, these are the types of suffering uh, that it's saying one is to accept. So these are examples. Um, acceptance of suffering that is based on worldly concerns. The nine worldly concerns are loss, disgrace, blame, pain, disintegration, extinguishment, aging, sickness, and the death of what is subject to death sub subsequent to its decay. After you have analyzed the sufferings based on all each of these, you accept the suffering. Uh, let me just make sure where we are, 420. Okay, oh, I read one too much. Sorry. This Chavate, good, eh? Jidem be churis, Jidem be churguja, woods, good water is Jidem chula temba, the Manebaji, Tambaji, Maneba Nibaji, Pamba Sombaji, Dunga or Jiba, 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 Jiba Seba, Nabaji, Gawa, Truba, Na Dumba, Chua Jiba, Nichu Chi, Chu, no. Jibane, chi, chowa de, what a good jidem be sure is. Jidem and jidem de be sure. Jidem be sure to what the jidem to go your good there is. Jidem de basana, ne palan, and a tolon, jolon, tolon, golon. Jolon measure the jidem, jidem baja over it. That tolon, golon, molula, what a near jidem deba. Jidem de baja was a roa. Jidem be. Jiden 
Zepa Okay. Um, so, number two, acceptance of suffering that is based on worldly concerns. The nine worldly concerns are loss, disgrace, blame, pain, disintegration, extinguishment, aging, sickness, and the death of what is subject to death subsequent to its de decay. Um, after you have analyzed the sufferings based on all of each of these, you accept suffering. So loss, so for instance, if um, your food or your alms are stolen or you lose them, you don't have them. So the suffering that comes from that, this is uh, an example. I asked Rinpoche to give some examples of these nine worldly concerns. Uh, so Rinpoche said, for instance, if you loss is, um, uh, if, if you... Um, no longer, you know, have your food, for instance, if you had it and you no longer have it. Um, dis uh, disgrace, um, if uh, you um, have to hear, um, in order to get some something you have to hear the um for instance in, in order to get alms um, you have to be scolded or hear bad things that's the the dealing with the suffering of disgrace um uh so this is a worldly concern um being concerned about this um blame um the nipa dang sumba chapagare minyanpa dang mepa the 
manyepa dang menyenpa dang mepa manya manyepa sana manyepa sana kala nan kala rama sana manyepa la guru ta manyepa sana kecha nyem me patan shiya guru ta then eh mepa nyempa da mepa kichapa gare manyepa das manyepa das kecha nyem me kecha duja ten do kote guru then eh kecha manyepa ro ta tab me bas na thodan tan khala te bai na me bal ro ta me ba chapa gare ni pa dang de chapa do ta me ne bas da tab me ne bas ko ne ba me ba kacha kacha to bo kacha ne ba ne ba me ba me ba me ba se na thodan tan ana wa de thodan tan ba tu me ba lo ma ba okay so i was asking rimbache what's the difference between uh disgrace and blame I'm I'm trying uh one is just uh disgrace is having to hear um things that um aren't nice and the blame is being scolded um so that's the 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 difference between those two um and pain is just a suffering disintegration um dealing with uh the um moments the, the the way things um fall apart and so forth uh in age extinguishment the um something is there and then it's no longer there um and then aging sickness and and death um so these are the nine um so rimbache just gave a little bit more detail on what those nine were i asked him to uh so what who has to deal with these what is a worldly concern a worldly concern um is dealt with um um by those who are worldly um so that is anyone who has not reached the path of seeing yet uh so even a practitioner on the path of preparation is considered a worldly being still cuz he or she, because he or she has not seen emptiness he or she is not a superior yet um so uh acceptance of suffering that is based on worldly concerns are concerns that those who are not aryas have uh um those who have not reached the path of seeing yet Um so um so that's w- when you see sometimes it's translated as mundane and super mundane worldly and then out of worldly super mundane um but that's what is meant here and this is referring to those specific sufferings dealt with by a non arya by a non superior okay then eh son ba shu lon la ta ba son ba shu lon la ta ba ne cha ba da de wa ta du ba da Nyawana shulon je las shulon je sana ana ngasu dogoro wata roa ti ji je ya langoro ni je lesa eh duba dogoro son je lesa ni ba je de shulon je lesa on de shulon shulon je las ti tambo dan son be de banal le ni tento san jona te le shu de ngan tanto tanto le je Tu ma in bi tu an tu tu an ta ti ti an lo ma ti an la le pa ba me je ba o s le pa ba me je o me je ba o chu yong su zin ba la zin ba ne kun chu su la chu jin zin du xie ba dan la ma la chu jin zin du xie ba dan a le xie ba chu na zu an dan ne zu an na jin la jia chi du ba san san de de kona de kona kadon do shawata jibu ember do de an da ba san ba da nan ju hila she be sin be shila gon ba de ne chu de ba du nos chu de ba de du ya do du du ta shu no la de ba de je pa a Sumba Charan Sumba Dangje 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 Diba na le ni sen do sen jo ana se le shu de ngan tan do le se le shu wa de ngan shu na de ngan tan le jo gu gu re 
Tadu lenji, tu ma imbi chong, tu ma imbi chong, 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 What what about you? The Zippa. Yeah. Yene Chan Lo Song, Ye Logian, Yene Dene de Chudelpa. Okay, so number three. Acceptance of suffering that is based on physical activities. The four physical activities are the reason I was laughing is because I got so detailed the last time, Rimache. Moving around is when you move around. Anyway, so that's why I was chuckling. Uh, so uh, moving around, standing when you get up, uh, sitting when you're sitting down and uh, lying down when you're lying down. Um, when all day and all night you purify your mind of obscurations by means of the first moving around and the third sitting of these four, you are accepting the sufferings that arise from them. However, do not relax on a couch, chair, or bed of straw or leaves when it is not time to do so. Um, so here it is saying to um, uh, recognize impermanence and not to be lazy, basically, not to lounge. This isn't, uh, it, it's uh, to practice um, while one is doing these things at all times. So accepting the suffering that, that occurs during these uh, activities. Rimachi didn't really expand. Number four, acceptance of suffering that is based on upholding the teaching. The teaching is upheld in seven ways. By worshiping and serving the three jewels, worshiping and serving the guru, understanding the teachings, teaching extensively to others what you have understood, reciting its praises in a loud, clear voice, correctly reflecting on it in solitude and cultivating meditative serenity and insight that is imbued with yogic intention. When you strive at these, you accept the sufferings that arise. Uh, so that's number four, and then Rimache will get into that now. Then Okay, so Nichino Okay, so Accepting, uh, number four is the acceptance of suffering that is based on upholding uh, the teachings. Um, so, the teaching is upheld in seven ways. So, the first, worshiping and serving the three jewels. So, this is, uh, for instance, making an offering uh, to the three jewels. Uh, so, uh, when we say, Dimbala me sanjay rinpoche, jupala me danchu rinpoche, when we make this offering, I make an offering to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha of our food, of our drink, or any of these other things, uh, then this is an example of worshiping uh, and serving the three jewels. Or if we do any work that is for 
the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. So this would all fall under this category of worshiping and serving the Guru. So accepting, I'm sorry, uh, worshiping and serving the Three Jewels. Um, so accepting any suffering that would be connected to that activity is, is the first one. The next one deals with the worshiping and serving the Guru. And this is just the same, uh, doing any work for the teacher. Uh, that he or she needs. Uh, number three, um, understanding the teachings. Rinpoche said memorizing is what this refers to. Uh, memorization and um, a clear understanding of the teachings. Uh, teaching extensively to others what you have understood, reciting its praises in a loud, clear voice. So this is um, uh, when one is doing uh, prayer, uh, making it very clear um, and it says loud uh, correctly reflecting on it in solitude so this is uh, developing single pointed concentration a single focus um, on this subject um, and then um, so reflecting on the suffering that one is willing to endure for the teaching. Uh, and then cultivating meditative serenity and insight that is viewed with yogic uh, in, intention. Um, so this is um, cultivating a union of calm, abiding, and special insight and the suffering that arises from cultivating that. Uh, so these are all um, the seven um, basises uh, or the um, seven ways in which you uphold the teaching and suffer uh, and could suffer. So the seven ways in which you accept suffering in relation to the teaching. So this means, though, that you need to know what a Buddha is. What is the Buddha jewel? What is the Dharma jewel? What is the Sangha jewel? You need to know what those are if we're going to begin with that, to make offering. Um, so, what is the Buddha? The Buddha is a being who has uh, abandoned the afflictive obstructions and the obstructions to omniscience in his or her continuum and has become all-knowing. This is a being who um, has uh, transcended cyclic existence by getting rid of the afflictive obstructions, obstructions to omniscience. Uh, the Dharma jewel uh, is uh, the true pathway um, and those true pathways are those within the continuum of superior beings. So those pathways within the continuums of superiors, the path of seeing, the path of meditation, etc. So these pathways in the continuums of superiors. And then the Sangha jewel refers to those superiors themselves, those beings who have reached the path of seeing uh, or above. Uh, so that is the Sangha jewel. Um, so these are, we, if we are asked, what is the Buddha jewel, what is the Dharma jewel, what is the Sangha jewel? Sangha jewel is a being who's gotten rid of the afflictive obstructions and the obstructions to omniscience. The Dharma jewel uh, is the realization of paths within the continuums of superiors, and the Sangha jewel are those superiors. Um, so uh, that's how we would reply to that question. Uh, so 
the dead school, the Nijor Yila, JP Zimbi, Jela Gomba, the Cherung dead school, Mache. What is it? Nanju Yila Jibe, Simbi, Nanju Yila Jibe, Simbi, Nishinan the Latum Gombas, Shinan the Latum Sana, and the Shinan second, maybe a sensitive to Nate again to the Shinan Lore. Shinan Shabaji is simply going to Rayula by men hundred to be taken in Shinan Seni. Shinan Shabaji is simply going to Rayula by men hundred to be taken into what the Shinan Shinak Seni is, Shinak Seni. Shinak Seni under Serna? Shinan Shabaji is simply goodness. Shinan Shabaji is simply going to that Gunja on Dula and Zubichi Lun Sabaj Lemon Lun. Well, Lun Sabaj Lemon Du and the Zubi on Bhutan. Okay, Rasa. Ah, uh, the 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 Sendang Lujong. Ah. Uh. Shijong. The younger Sunang. Lujong, the Sengjing. Okay, the year eight. Okay, Rasa. Go get me a chip. Kali, Kali. Um, so then it says. Cultivating meditative serenity and special insight that is imbued with yogic intention. When you strive at these, you accept the sufferings that arise. Um, so here, um, this is referring to direct um, achieving calm abiding. Uh, calm abiding is defined as a stabilization arisen from meditation and conjoined with special pliancy. Uh, so this special pliancy is referring to the mental and physical pliancy that occurs once you achieve this single-pointed concentration. Um, and, and then, um, just as a translator's note, it says... Uh, Etymolic, I can never say that word. If we look at the etymology of the word, I can't say the etymologically that part, but if you look at the etymology, I can say that, uh, of it, calm abiding. We can say it's explained as the mind's abiding, um, that's ne, we have shine, um, so the mind's abiding on an internal object of observation upon the calming, shi, which is calming, of distracted, distraction to the outside. Uh, so that's how the etymology of shine uh, works. Um, the ne, uh, the shi is the calming, and the ne part uh, is the abiding. Um, so, just a little side note. Um, so that is what uh, how we define calm abiding. It, it's the single po uh, single pointed um, uh, ab abiding on an object. Uh, um, when with a calming of distraction from the outside, um, and it and it says, an, an actual Rimache said, what happens when you achieve single point in concentration is a new wind uh, occurs. So when this new wind occurs, um, this pliancy occurs. Um, so, dig some Rimache. So when we stabilize our mind and fix it on one object, then this is how we achieve a calm abiding. We achieve special insight by analysis, which is moving the mind uh, around and looking at varying objects. So analysis um, moves around and looks at various things, and the fixed meditation focuses on one thing solely. Um, so the analysis gives rise to 
the special insight and the fixed meditation gives rise to calm abiding, a single-pointed uh, meditation, co- single-pointed concentration. Digsung, lumi. That's not as good. Lumi, lumi. Lumi, so all the same business. Lumi, so what they want. I don't know what they ま、そう、たんはま、じゃがる uh, so, um, this next one, accepting the suffering that is based on living by begging. Previously, um, at the time of the Buddha, uh, the monks and nuns would go out and beg for their alms. Um, they would be, the community would support this. Um, when it became a monastic community, such as Nalanda, that was very large, like a college, this just became not possible to have thousands and thousands of monks go out in the street every day. Um, so they established a uh, kitchen and uh, the monks cooking for the monastery at Nalanda. Um, so the begging for alms um, changed at that point in this tradition. But we still see in Thailand and other tr- places where this still continues, where the monks and nuns do go out and beg for their daily alms um, uh, and for food. Um, so, and then I mentioned for Rinpoche, and he concurred that even in the U.S., and uh, you you see people for other reasons who who beg for alms, um, for so that they can live. I mean, the monks and nuns were doing it so they could survive, um, and as are some of these other folks that we see. So Rinpoche concurred. Dixon. <laughs> ทำไมสวาลเดบันเนตัดตาคาบดีบาลาสุบีซูมาดูบาลาญาสุเลมบาดาสตัดเดบาตัดเดอาตาคาบดีอาวัดดูสุกงอลอซูมาดูซูมา
ماشی بات و می دوبار ناله دو باس می دوبار دو دو مثلا وش بده اینجا رو و دل دو باره اس کات نه جنگی جنگی سو پون بی اند کات سینگ ری بی کات نه جنگی سو پون بی زاویه دان یه دو دو با دان چو چولا سو با چو چولا سو با तो चौला सुबह सुबह ना गंगोशे बापू पंबिशर माशी बादो में ये गाते ले दो बत्ते हमें तो आता दुनोस वो तो हमें तो आता दुनो तो दाल लाते ने दुनिया तांतो ले बोस तो दाल हमें तो आता दुनिया तो दाल लाते ने दुनिया युगरे दुनिया शुंसुना दुनिया तांतो ने सुबह गुंगोरे वो तो सुनते हैं सर Then I get some of the Alain on part Zunju, the Alain Drupa. Okay. Okay. Um, acceptance. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to. Let me just read the whole thing. Acceptance of suffering that is based on living by begging. The seven aspects of living by begging are Are you experiencing having an ugly appearance due to shaving off your hair, beard, and so forth? You experience wearing cloth that is patched together and is of poor color. This is speaking monastic. Um, you live by restraining yourself from the conduct of worldly persons and act in a way other than they do. You give up farm work. Here this worldly persons is speaking of... Uh, um, those who have not gone forth, those who are unordained. So this worldly isn't speaking of the same kind of worldly as Arya, non-Arya. This is speaking even as worldly in terms of what we would normally think as a worldly person. Um, and uh, restraining yourself from worldly persons and act in a way other than they do. You give up farm work, etc., and then live by getting material goods from others, so you live in dependence on others. Since you do not accumulate or employ material gain, you seek things such as robes, etc., from others for as long as you live. Since you give up sexual intercourse, you turn away from human desires until you die. And since you give up dancing, laughter, and the like, you turn away from human merriment until you die in order to give up friends, intimate companions, childhood friends, and the like, as well as pleasures, enjoyments. You accept the suffering that came, comes about based on these. So the sufferings of being separated. And this is speaking of a monastic who's separated now um, from all of their, these other things uh, that they would normally be connected to. So as a note, this is speaking to that person. And Detsuku... Uh, um, Speaking to the uh, die, except the suffering that came. Digson, the Lombard Zun Zumbi. Ah, Digson. That's in Jesus, you don't have a temple, Mariba. Since you don't have a temple, the Rimache, the Lombard Zumbe Dupa la Demba. Lombard Zumbi. The Deda la Dene, Lombard Zumbi, Lombard Zumbi, Demba. ว่าเป็นเจ้าเบียร์ทุบบาลาเต็มบาลเนสทุบบาลาเต็มบาลเนสกิจุลาเต็มบาลาสอันเนี่ยกว่ากงจะต้องขันเนี่ยจะต้อง
or mental suffering that occurs while you're practicing. Um, this is the acceptance of that kind of suffering. Number seven, acceptance of suffering that is based on acting for the welfare of living beings. There are 11 activities for others' welfare. You accept the sufferings that occur because of these. Again, previously, we went over these 11 types of beings. You'll find it in the liberation in the palm of your hand where these 11 are listed. Digsung, Jepa. Tajima Kanamatoa Kanamatoa Okay, <laughs> So number eight, acceptance of suffering that is based on current tasks. You accept the suffering that arises from tasks for a renunciate, such as the work associated with the begging bowl, robes, and so forth, or from the tasks for a householder, such as faultless work from a, on a farm, in business, as government employee, except, etc. Um, so here we'll, we'll get into the common and uncommon behaviors. Um, so what are common behaviors? Common behaviors are those that um, are prescribed to all beings, whether they are householders or they are um, ordained. So for instance, abstaining from killing. Abstaining from killing is something prescribed by the Buddha to householders as well as those who are ordained. But then if we look at uncommon deeds, such as cutting down a tree, Cutting de not cutting down a tree was prescribed specifically to the ordained. We don't find that prescribed to the lay person. So this is something that's uncommon. Um, so here we see this division being made in here as well, showing that um, the suffering that arises for, the, for a renunciate, one who's gone forth and ordained, versus the suffering that arises uh, for a householder, um, some are common, some are different. So it's just saying that accepting all of those, depending on who you are, no matter what those circumstances are. Digsung? Yeah. Then a that's more your the data doing your down Lambo data shit jale. Data jale. Data jale. So you use that jale. That man is so jale. So you and then doing it and so so na and then. Kaya 
ਉਹ ਜੇ ਜੇ ਬੁੱਤ ਲਾਤੇ ਨੇ ਦੋਗਾਂ ਸ਼ੂ ਸੁਣਾ ਦੋਗਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਲੈ ਜੋ ਬਗੋਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਤੇ ਨੇ ਲੰਗੂ ਬਲ ਪਾਚੇ ਤੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਜੋ ਜੇ ਗੋਰੇਸ ਹਮ ਹਮ ਗੇ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਜੋ ਆਹੀਲਾ ਇਹ ਮਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਬਰ ਜੋ ਕੋ ਸਾ ਦੋਗਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਸ਼ੂ ਸੁਣਾ ਆ ਉਹਨੇ ਦੋਗਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਸ਼ੂ ਸੁਣਾ ਆ ਬਰੇ ਤਾਂ ਦੋਗਾਂ ਸ਼ੂ ਸੁਣਾ ਗਾ ਗਾ ਜੋ ਕੋ ਸੰਭਾ ਗੋਆ ਯੂ ਕਰੇ ਚੀ ਜੀ ਛੇ ਬੋ ਗੋਆ ਯੂ ਕਰੇ ਨੇ ਗੋ ਮ ਬਡੂ ਤੋ ਕਰੇ ਸੋ ਹਮ ਹਮ what the descent on was on these even if you are stricken with any sufferings that arise in dependence on these eight bases you do not give up your joyous perseverance at each you act for the sake of enlightenment joyfully not letting such sufferings become an obstacle that causes you to turn back once you have set forth um so as these various obstacles come uh and difficulties arise you use them to make your desire to emerge stronger your desire to definitely get out increase your renunciation use it to increase uh your compassion increase your fortitude um so this is how these obstacles don't cause you to turn back they cause you to persevere decent that you long as you so ba so ba and then do get on like so ਕਸਾ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਤਾਂ ਨਾ ਬਸ ਦੋਗਾ ਤਾਂ ਲੈ ਜੋ ਬਾ ਚੁਲਾ ਨਾ ਸੈ ਜੋ ਬਾ ਅਨ ਉਹਦੇ ਸੋ ਹੋਇਆ ਮਾਰ ਸੋ ਗਾ ਨਾ ਸੋ ਬਾ ਦੇ ਸਰ ਸੋ ਬਾ ਚੁਲਾ ਨਾ ਸੈ ਜੇ ਜੋ ਬਾ ਲਾ ਸੋ ਜੋ ਬਾ ਚੁ ਸੋ ਬਾ ਚੁਲਾ ਨਾ ਬਾ ਸੈ ਬਾ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜੋ ਬਾ ਜੇ ਬਾ ਲਾ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਯੂਨ ਯੂਨ ਜੇ ਤੇਸ ਨੇ ਚੁਲਾ ਨਾ ਸੈ ਜੇ ਚੁਲਾ ਨਾ ਬਾ ਸੈ ਬਾ ਲਾ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜਬਜੀ ਵੀ ਜੀ ਹੋਰਸ ਇਹਨ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਜੀ ਗਨ ਤੰਬੂ ਸ਼ੋ ਸਨ ਤੰਬੂ ਦੇ ਰਿਸ ਤੰਬੂ ਤੰਬੀ ਵੀ ਨੇ ਕੋਈ ਚੂ ਸੋ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਨੋਸ ਤਾ ਕੋਈ ਚੂ ਸੋ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਨੇ ਸਾਜੀ ਕੋਈ ਚੂ ਚੂ ਕੋਈ ਚੂ ਕੋਈ ਨੀ ਕੋਈ ਚੂ ਕੋਈ ਨੀ ਜੇ ਦਮਾ ਦਮਾ ਸ਼ੇ ਸੁਲ ਹੈ ਜੂ ਜੇ 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 ਤੂੰ ਤੂੰ ਮੇ ਬਾ ਛੇ ਤਾਂ ਤੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਾ ਦੇ ਛੇ ਤਾਂ ਤੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਾ ਦੇ ਬਾ ਦੇ ਕਸਾ what the sanju gun chu gun yete chu gun chu gun yete gun gun chu yete the santan gor sin sare okay yete yete no tene ngo do ware what the ji ju da gun zu dan 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 ba ta ngo do sai yu ne da me ba ni ji to kona ni do os ale kan sa ngo do sai yu ne ta da me ba ni ji to kona ni do os ਕਾਜ਼ਾ ਕਦ ਮੈਂ ਚੁਜ ਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਉ ਰਵਾ ਤੂ ਚੇ ਹਾਂ ਨੀ ਦੋਸ ਵੈਸ ਨੀ 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 ਵੈਨ ਇਨ ਏ ਜੋਰ ਡੀਸ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਡਿਵੈਲਪਿੰਗ ਨਾਉ ਵੀਵ ਅਰਾਈਵਡ ਐਟ ਡਿਵੈਲਪਿੰਗ ਦ ਪੇਸ਼ੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਸਰਟੀਟਿਊਡ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਥੇਰ ਅਗੇਨ ਇਫ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਦ ਬੀਗਿਨਿੰਗ ਥੇਰ ਵਰ ਥ੍ਰੀ ਮੇਜਰ ਹੈਡਿੰਗਸ for patience there was the patience of of disregarding harm done to you the patience of accepting suffering and developing the patience of certitude about the teachings those were the three main categories so this is the third the patience of certitude about the teachings means generating the forbearance of conviction it has eight objects the object of faith this is the good qualities of the three jewels so the excellent qualities of the buddha the dharma and the sangha so what is the excellent quality of the buddha what is the excellent quality of the dharma what is the excellent quality of the sangha the object to act to be actualized this is the reality of the two selflessnesses so these selflessness are referring to selflessness of person and selflessness of phenomena then eh sambadang jepa ta konju so je de no ta ngo du sha yu ne da me ba ni ro de ba ni ka za ka da me chu da me si ma ba da me de no ro na du je chu da ka za yi na ni so s wo de o ma ju ba ro o ma ju ba da me de wo de ni ni so yo re s ni du sho so na ka za ka da me chu je da me ni ja wo re s ka za ka da me so na ਨਾ ਦੇ ਬਾ ਕਾ ਕਾ ਨਾ ਦੇ ਬਾ ਮਾਰੂ ਬਾ ਤਲੇ ਕਾ ਸਾ ਕਾ ਮੈਂ ਲੋ ਮਾਰੂ ਬਾ ਨਾ ਸੰ ਤਾ ਕਾ ਸਾ ਸਾ ਮਾਰੇ ਕਾ ਸਾ ਦਮ ਕਾ ਸਾ ਦੇ ਬਾ ਮਾਰੂ ਬਾ ਇਨ ਕਾ ਸਾ ਦਮੇ ਮੀ ਚਰ ਕਾ ਸਾ ਕਿਤੇ ਦੇ ਬਾ ਮਾਰੂ ਬਾ ਤੇ ਕਾ ਸਾ ਕਾ ਦਮੇ ਕਾ ਸਾ ਮੈਂ ਮੀ ਚੁ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਦਮੇ ਤੇ ਨੇ ਚੁ ਜੀ ਦਮੇ ਸ ਯਾ ਜੀ ਸੁਨਨ ਕਾ ਸਾ ਜ਼ੋਲਾ ਸੁਬਾ ਜ਼ੋਲਾ ਸੁ ਤੋ ਕਾ ਸਾ ਮਾਰੋ ਕਾ ਸਾ ਮੈਂ ਮੀ ਚੁ ਕਿਤੇ ਦੋ ਦਮੇ ਬਾ ਚੁ ਜੀ ਦਮੇ ਸ ਕਾ ਸਾ ਮੈਂ ਮੀ ਚੁ ਹਮ 
Um, so when we divide these two types of selflessness, uh, selflessness of person is refer referring to um, anything that is person. So the lack of true establishment of, of that which is person uh, falls into this category. Uh, the next category is um, selflessness of phenomena. And selflessness of phenomena is anything that is not person. The, so the selflessness of anything that's not person. Uh, so those are the two categories of selflessness, selflessness of phenomena, and selflessness of um, person. Uh, so we find in Chandrakirti's entrance to the middle way uh, where it states that what are the two, what, um, how do we divide selflessness by way of two, phenomena and person? Uh, so what is the uh, <coughs> selflessness of person? So selflessness of person is referring to the findability of the eye. So we look at um, the eye itself. Where is this eye? Is the eye my head? Is the eye my hand? Is, am I my leg? Am I other part of my body? So when we try to find in, in this I, uh, then we can't. Um, so then, uh, when, then what do we arrive at? Do we arrive at that this I doesn't exist? This isn't true either because we know that we do exist. We are here. Um, so what then and how how then does this I exist if it does exist? So if it does exist, how does it exist? Um, so what we say is that um, the I exists through a collection coming together of aggregates, five aggregates in this case, that then serve as a basis of designation for the naming of I. Um, so, this is the selflessness of I. It's this lack of true establishment because of dependent origination. Um, so, uh, this first category of selflessness of person is just that, the selflessness of the I, the lack of true establishment of the I, um, and, and, and it's previously explained how we arrive at that. Dixon. So then selflessness of phenomena, um, non-person. So for instance, this table. Um, is this corner of the table? Is that corner of the table? Is the middle of the table the table? Um, so in the same way, we see that the collection of middle, corner, right, left, etc. come together and then serve as a basis of designation to be called the table. So this is the self, so that is the selflessness of the table. Um, and that would be an example of selflessness of phenomena. Okay. Sumba Lepson, that's good. Dupi, you, Sanjay, then a Brunta, you, Gombi, that's good. Dupi, you, Sanjay, the Sanjay, Sanjay, the 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 Lebashi <laughs> 
Parisi ma çok tutan. Senci gibi tutsun mu? Ne bir yüzü ne? Sancı danışan çok sen bak. Sancı sana ne yapıp şişe de yapıp onu da sancı. Sancı sen bak sana sancı sen gülce takın. Yen şey deli sancı sen bak lağır var. Sancı sen bak nacı. O da sonra tut çöpü varız. Tut çen bu de de ha. Ne bak şey bir toz. Jensen şebi ngwe shela subi ngwe she ngwe ba shebi totan lasa ne chedu sis bor ba jama lasa chedu totan lasa chenji ji bi tot to zon yo ares lasa ni gare re me che chenji ji bi tos to mo ma che won du ne to mo ma che che du ne ko ne tu ne tu che me yo ken jo jero wa bo ko ngwa su bo ko ma che bo ko kha ji to mo che ta ne shero che bu du wa lasa Şöyle çabuk, kaçı deniz yuvarı. Okey, lasso. Onu kaçı maçı yuvarı, nöbet çabuk yuvarı. Aleyh. Sence çabuk to. Okey, tüçe. Tüçe. So number three, the desired object. This is the great powers of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, of which there are three. The power of the super knowledges, the power of the six perfections, and the power which is innate. Um, so here, uh, the Buddhas are those beings who have gotten rid of the afflictive obstructions and the obstructions to omniscience. The Bodhisattvas are those beings who have achieved the mind that aspires to enlightenment, have, have achieved bodhicitta. Um, uh, and it says the power of the super knowledges, so those who have achieved the clairvoyances and the various powers of those clairvoyances, the power of the six perfections, the six perfections, um, and the power which is innate. So I asked Rinpoche what that means, and he said that um, there are, you see that there are some children who have a great amount of wisdom that just they arrive with, um, that's innate within them. Um, there are some beings due to previous predispositions that have power within them that is naturally there. Um, and that is what is, this is referring to, this natural power that's naturally there in the being um, who is uh, a, a bodhisattva or a Buddha. Um, so um, just as a translator's note, for them to be a bodhisattva, they have to have some previous good things so this this is this innate thing that's there and it doesn't mean always um, so this innate um, that's why I asked um, if it meant something that was always there and it doesn't seem to be it seems to be the degrees from predisposition um, okay then eh? that land of you in the land of you in the point of time now so long ago you know never see about never see about the larger is Naja leba sheba, neba sheba to ponja, toja. Leba sheba, then I saw ne leba sheba, so no son jig son to the leba sheba, mother, leba sheba. Can you attend you to leba sheba or leba sheba? Neba sheba, I saw debug debug kisses there to do or to see neba sheba in Jerwada. Neba shebe, neba shebe, Judah. Okay. Okay. Number four, the object to be adopted. This is wanting both the cause, good deeds, and the effect these good deeds. We find um, in the um, where the Buddhas have taught, um, we find these good words have been spoken. Um, what is a good deed? Uh, and what are the effects of those good deeds? So these things have been spoken um, by the Buddha. So wanting um, the cause and the result based on these good words that you've read. Um, that's it. Gombi Yu. That Gombi Yu, ne? Toja yi shang chu tang. To be, ta shang sen ji. So ba tang ji. De, haba tanji de, de an yin su shao wos. Ta gong bi, ne, gong bi yu ne, shang chu tan, ne tui shang chu, rang jay shang chu. Oh, I see. Te ba shen bi shang chu. Less so. Shang chu song ma de ba. La la ne, ne tui shang chu chu, sen jay to. La la ne, rang jay shang chu chu, sen jay to. La la ne, te ba shen bi shang chu chu, sen jay to. Os, wat ten de song sa dua. Ne tui shang chu sa de, ne tui tolan, jolan, tolan, gong lan, 
Okay. Um, so then uh, the object of meditation that is the method for achieving the goal, this is all the paths of training in the spirit of enlightenment. So those five pathways of each of those hearers, solitary realizers, and bodhisattvas in there, as previously mentioned, their uh, results of their paths. The object of subsequent practice through study and reflection. According to Drulungpa, uh, this refers to the province of what is to be known, such as impermanence and so forth. Uh, the Power Lineage chapter of the Bodhisattva Levels mentions that the eighth is a sublime teaching, the twelfth branches of scripture and so forth, so I think you have to take it as being this. Um, the province of what is to be known, such as impermanence and so forth, this is beginning to, this refers to the sixteen attributes of the Four Noble Truths. Um, so the first truth, the truth of suffering, has four attributes, impermanence, suffering, selflessness, and emptiness. True origins have four attributes, uh, cause, origin, strong production, and condition. True cessations have four attributes. Cessation, uh, pacification, auspicious highness, <coughs> and definite emergence. And true paths have four attributes. Path, suitability, achievement, and deliverance. Um, so where it says impermanence and so forth, it's referring to the understanding of the 16 attributes of the Four Noble Truths. So we find these 16 attributes of the Four Noble Truths, uh, those teachings that are in common with other Buddhist traditions, we find them in Thailand as well. Kasugure. 
So we find the proofs and and uh, um, so forth presented in the second chapter of Dharmakirti's Pramana Vartika Karika, where he goes over the sixteen attributes of the Four Noble Truths using signs and reasoning. The Mitapachu Chen, Mitapi Inde? Sajin Yon and Pumuchu. Yeah, Sajin Yon and Lenbuchu. Pumuchu, Madaba, Ringachi is Ringa, Sena, Ringa, Golche, Gogol, Majibaris. Ringasen, Tutanjil Chigmaris, Tunga Hill Chigaris, Gogolje, Gogol Maja. Ringachi is Ringa Chibija. Ringa said, Jason, Ringa. KG my image here. Uh, uh, so we would say the subject, the um, contaminated, uh, the appropriate, Sachin Nyerlenji Pumbo, the contaminated appropriated aggregates are impermanent. They are impermanent because they are, and the, there's, uh, what's the best word to use here? Um, Sachin Nyerlenji Pumbo Chuchem, Mitapa Yinde, Renka, Chiba Yimis is because they are produced, but there's a specific, I want the other word, renka. Um, it has something to do with, um, Ramachay said a rice, for instance, only pr- comes up in a certain season. Um, so it, it's produced, um, so it has something like that. So that's the reason, but it's produced. So the subject, the uh, um, contaminated appropriated aggregates are impermanent because they are produced, because they are momentary, because they are... Um, uh, oh, I see what it is. It's it's not it's seasonal, which is um, not always occur. They are. Um, I'll think of the word. I know the word. Um, they are not always occurring. Basically, um, so they're impermanent. They're not always occurring. They're not static. Okay. Then eh, let's do the. The debts more than Chiwa Don Lenja. Okay, okay, do that. The Shija Yu, the Madaba La Suba, Madaba Suba, Madaba Suba La, Tronobi Jeto was Madaba Sulaja, who is the Tronobi Jebares. Toji Riji Lu, Toji Riji Luna, Sondo Yala Juni, Sombe, Tambi Chula. Tambichula Jeba Sombe Tejin to Shaguba, Yamo. What the Germans you were in the Tennessee Sagua. Sorry, Latin, do they annual or dead? Tiji to it. Can you tell you to Maduna? Sorry, Latin in dinner. Less so. Conviction and certainty about these. Zupa Gaia. The name the Zipa Kabale the Ah Zupa Gaya. We're gonna end. I'm just trying to Ngapa. Okay. Zipa Kabiare. Ngapa. Jig non tombukan shoes on the temba. De be you. Hm that's our Okay, so um, then, so Lama Tsongkhapas gives examples of where we find these. The Power Lineage chapter, the Bodhisattva levels, mentions that the eighth is the sublime teaching, twelve branches of scripture and so forth, so I think that you have to take it as that. The way to have conviction is to become certain about these objects just as they are, then think about them again and again, apprehending them without conflict. 
In accordance with passages in the Bodhisattva levels, I have set forth the eight bases with respect to the patience of accepting suffering and eight objects, with respect to the patience of certitude about the teachings in particular. There is extensive coverage there of the patience of certitude about the teachings. So um, I just read forward in um, just a, a paragraph or so. So we'll see if we start it. Uh, I think we'll start at D um, next time. Uh, so. Questions. Does anyone have any uh, questions? Uh, Coleman back there has a question. Where is D? Did that droopy? 423. Um. Jeff, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Um, my question was, uh, from what I understand, to become a uh, solitary realizer or sarvaka and attain nirvana, uh, it takes a shorter time than it does to become a full attained Buddha. Mm -hmm. So my question was, why don't you just follow the path of a solitary realizer or sarvaka, attain nirvana, and then from there approach the path to Buddhahood, full Buddhahood. Okay. Um, the kon an ngama the kon anje de gunsu, the nyentu shanchu, dan sanje shanchu, nyentu shanchu, the tanyepo, the sanje tarimbo, the kon ngama kon anje gusu, the nyentu le lar. That's Leilar. Then a Garshene Natsu Tambo Nyentu Cha. Then a the Shanchu Lan, the Techen Landro. Tambo the Nyentu, the Dajomba J. That you two Landro in the Shanchu Landro in the Sisi Susu Dobares. เยจิเมจิเนตุลองรุกเวยมาเดสเลเซอเนตุลองรุเนติเจเลยุงเกจิยอเรราเจลองรุเนติเจเลยุงเกจิยอเรสเซเจสุสุเดบะเรมาโต
Gang and Senna, the do the the no more apa yo mare. Then a the jupo nyan le de pa dro. Then a do nyo yo mare. Then a teach in la le la will do. Garishin a the yakshu yo mare. Gang and Senna, the teach it the teme da jumba. Teach in lang kali kapu do. They can't get you out there. They do nyo yurabe. ドゥニャオヨングドゥエ。ヨネイデテメイダジョンバ。テチェンランドロケン。ドゥニャオヨルベ。テメイダジョンバ。テメイダジョンバ。テチェンドロケン。テチェンランドロケン。ドゥニャ
people who would have an affinity only for the great vehicle and its results. Uh, and there were certain beings who would first do the lesser vehicle and then traverse the great vehicle and others who would traverse the great vehicle first. So as a translator's note, if I've, it definitely says in the texts that the Hinayana and Nirvana is awoken by the Buddha and then told to traverse the Mahayana path and then they do so. So is there, if ultimately everyone's going to do that, the Buddha said everyone will become a Buddha. So if everyone's going to become a Buddha, there is an ultimately, ultimate one path. Maybe it read like that. We don't have the text in front of us in Tibetan, so I can't ask the question from a source perspective. But Rinpoche said most definitely the Buddha taught those two vehicles. And, uh, and, and back to your question, Rinpoche said, because it kind of combines, that everybody has different affinities. You have to f find what you connect to, what makes sense for you, and practice that. Everyone's not the same. Okay, thank you. about the sufferings um, in regards to the teachings and what exactly could be a suffering from achieving calm abiding and, and the, the, the union of special insight and wisdom? Um, what suffering from that result? I think it's the suffering getting to that that, that we're, we're talking about. But I can, where? Where? Um, I thought it was the suffering um, that is related to uh, the patience of achieving that result. Shine dang latung lena dugnel yurbe. Shine dang latung dugnel ju. Shine latung dugnel ju in se juma de yurbot. No, so shine dang latung. I'm sorry. Calm abiding and special insight are the causes of happiness. So they aren't they aren't they don't cause suffering at all. Why why do they um, cause happiness? Because they're virtue. Okay, I'm sorry, I just misunderstood. Does that make sense? I I think that's what we're we're talking about. Um, let me find it in the text though. The I know what you're talking about. Does anyone else have any questions? Under number four, it's the seventh um, way to accept. Under acceptance of suffering that's based upon upholding the teachings, yeah. number four, it's the seventh point, cultivating meditative serenity and insight that is imbued with yogic attention. Yeah, that's the suffering that comes with cultivating it. What would that be? Um, Rinpoche. The um chu tu chu dungel dalen zupa the um the ewa dun yure then a the gonchu sun chupa bull then lama chupa bull then then a the um sonchino shin then me jenda becha tree then kandun selpo selpo du then a um Shine dan la tung de ne jor. Uh, that's. The ne jor yi la jepe zinbi je la gomba de chu zimba du no. Da jene la tung yi. Yeah, the de dag la. The the ne jor yi yi la jepe. Zimbi shine hlatong gomba de chu zimba duno nanju ila shiba shine de hlatong gomba la gor then e dungyo gare de kongi chiwa dungyo kandre to gongi ina tel dungyo dungyo jungur wata so what what it is is when you're cultivating this meditation suffering emerges when you're trying to cultivate uh, meditative serenity and special insight. Various types of sufferings and obstacles emerge while you're trying. So you're developing the patience that 
in in regards to those sufferings that emerge while you're um, cultivating meditative serenity and insight. Um, then they they do a show. So, for instance, while you're meditating and you're trying to uh, have a special meditation of single point, and your mind won't stay focused, so you feel badly, um, that is a suffering that emerges from trying to develop this. An exa- I asked him for an example. Like laxity and excitement. The Shiva Dangupa Dandra. Shiwa then eh, the Dezo Dugyao Yin. Okay, so um, those are more faults of the mind um, that would then maybe cause you to feel bad, or, but those are more faults of the mind. Um, um, excitement is when your mind can't stay fixed on an object uh, that you're wishing to focus solely on. So you're moving from object to object without being able to focus on just one. And dullness um, is when you don't have a clarity around that object. So these are obstacles to the achievement of calm abiding, um, but the sufferings themselves are the actual feelings of suffering and so forth that occur while trying to achieve those things. Like your legs hurt from sitting too long or your back hurts or your mind, you're bored you can't sit in those sort of things are the suffering that would be the ari- arising from trying to achieve these uh, so that's it concluding mandala offering and dedication prayer um, thank you everyone and we'll Try to, we're kind of like right in the middle of a sentence, literally, for next week, which should be nice. 179. Let me just put this right in here. Yeah, I'll remember where. Okay, so, concluding model offering and dedication prayer. The fundamental ground is scented with incense and strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha land and offer it. May all sentient beings enjoy this pure realm. I dedicate whatever virtues I have collected for the benefit of the teachings and of all sentient beings, and in particular for the essential teachings of Venerable Lozandrapa to shine forever. I send forth this jeweled mandala to you, precious Guru. I dedicate all this virtue to emulate the knowledge of the hero Manjushri and likewise Samantabhadra as well. With whatever dedication is praised as supreme by all the conquerors who traverse the three times, I also dedicate all my roots of virtue for the sake of auspicious deeds. In that pure land surrounded by snowy mountains, you are the source of all benefit and happiness. All powerful Avogateshvara Tenzin Gyatso may stay until samsara's end. I pray for the long life of the precious Kensar Wandak, upholder of scriptural and realizational doctrines, spiritual friend who trained extensively in the five great philosophical texts, with exceptional wisdom and perseverance. Two G Rum Chikutsi Shapi Denonang at Subarun Chambokanga Chirana. Tearing Shada Selbodu. The Tang Song may may chug